Welcome back, guys. Another day in uh, Hogwarts. You know, another day of wizardry. Uh, another day of uh, hopefully flying and, you know, kicking some goblin booty. Tell him about his friend. I forgot what we even have to tell him, if I'm honest. I think it's not good news, though. Sorry, Deke. I'm back from the cave, Deke. Wonderful. Uh, uh, Deke hopes you gave Deke's best to Tobbs. Oh, that's right, he's dead. I'm sorry to tell you this, Deke, but Tobbs is gone. It seems he was unable to avoid the spiders in the end. Oh my. Deke was afraid of this. Alone in that cave for so long. Oh, poor Tobbs. Uh, uh, Deke and Tobbs once shared the same master when he died. Uh, we were separated. Deke always wished Tobbs had been sent to Hogwarts too. Deke feels lucky to serve such kind witches and wizards like you. Deke Is that fresh friend. cinnamon behind him? Behind his head? Look at that. With a heavy heart. Big cinnamon sticks. I'm truly sorry about your friend, Deke. Thank you. You are very kind. Deke could use some time alone to think if... That's all right. Sure, Deke. Do your morning. Whatever you gotta do, sir. Okay, easy. Easy peasy. These moons, man. I'm really gonna start finding these things. Poppy. Uh, Natty. Gotta come up with uh, Natty's around here, right? I believe. That right. Let me get in there. Here. Here. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Travel does broaden the mind. So frustrating. You wanted to speak with me, Mother? I had hoped to speak with you alone, Natsai. Your message mentioned your concern about an unusual creature that was spotted in the woods near Hogsmeade. That could have been anything. You know what it was, Natsai. I am allowed to leave the castle. I am always careful, Mother. Careful? Officer Singer disagrees. She sent me an owl telling me that you have been trying to collect evidence of some kind against dark wizards. She berated me for not keeping a closer eye on you. And she is right. I do not want you visiting Hogsmeade for the near future. But mother! My little gazelle, you are well intentioned, but you must not meddle in the affairs of dangerous people. If someone had meddled in Matabilleland, father would us. I must get to class. Perhaps your friend can get you to listen to reason. Nope. So nope, I can't. She never listens to me. She called you her little gazelle. Is that a term of endearment where you're from? It is specific to me. I am the unusual creature in Hogsmeade she mentioned. She was once a gazelle. Is not taught at Hogwarts. Magic so turned her into Natty. discouraged from practicing it. However, I am an Animagus. And it is in my gazelle form that I have been able to wander the Highlands rather freely until now. Much to my mother's chagrin. That is how I managed to spy on Rookwood and Harlow. Oh, she is a good... She's a... Uh, an Animagus? Were you born an Animagus? Animagus? Animagi are not born. The process is quite elaborate. It involves holding a mandrake leaf in one's mouth for an entire month, then placing the leaf in a crystal file so that it is imbued with moonlight, then adding one of your own hairs. And that is just the beginning. Self transfiguration is common among students at Wagadu. But Professor Weasley considers it much too dangerous to teach at Hogwarts. That sounds badass. Let's do that. 
Can you choose what form your animagus will take? Oh, no. A person's animagus form is determined by their personality. My mother is convinced that my form is a gazelle because I adapt well to any situation. I believe it is because I can sense danger and keep my wits about me. Mm. Now the nickname makes sense. What an extraordinary ability to have. It is. I love transforming, but mother is less enthusiastic about it. She says that no creature, especially one as rare as a gazelle, should be bounding about where poaching has become so prevalent. True. <sighs> True. She claims that she has foreseen tragedy befall me in my gazelle form. But she has used her sight to control me too many times. I no longer believe it. She's concerned for your safety. It may be best for you to stay away from Hogsmeade for now. That may be safe, but I do not believe that it would be best. Do you? You could have fled the moment you discovered that Rookwood, Harlow, and Randrock were after you, but you did not. I choose to act as you have. I must deal with Rookwood and Harlow, not hide from them. <sighs> My mother cannot know where I am all the time. Thank you for being here during that rather awkward conversation. Yeah, not sure that I had to be, if I'm honest. Like, why? What was the point? Oh. Oh, she's stuck. Transfigure, Natty. Turn into a gazelle and leap out of here. Here, let me, let me let me give you a push. There you go. There you go. Welcome. Okay, now what? Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, let's go to talk to Poppy about the dragon. Cool dragon. dragons in the fighting ring the collars they were wearing they appeared to be goblin silver i think a collar is precisely what we found at that poacher camp i've never known poachers to use anything like that before the dragon that attacked my carriage was wearing the collar and professor fig was genuinely baffled by its behavior that attack always did strike me as a little strange seemingly coming out of nowhere Surely you aren't suggesting that the collars somehow control the poor creatures? Exactly. Merlin, I don't think the dragon we set free was wearing no, a collar, Seymour. but we should check. I'm Seymour. If not, we can find Merlin. her, we can return her egg. Uh, oh yeah, we still have the egg, huh? Yeah, let's check That's on That's a good idea. We need to see this through. I'll start looking into it right away. There was something else that I wanted to discuss with you. I'm looking I at didn't want to ride a dragon. It seems I may have caused you more trouble with Victor Rookwood. Why is he after you? Um. Yeah, whatever. Rookwood is working with Ranrock, and Ranrock is after something I found at Gringotts. Fig had a portkey that led us there after the dragon attack. It's a bit of a long story, and Fig had asked that I not speak of it yet. Goodness. Well, that certainly helps to shed light on what we saw at the tent. Don't worry, I'll guard your secret as if it were my own. I shan't press for more details. In fact, I should probably be going. I'd like to track that dragon down as soon as I can. I'll let you know when I have news of her location. Okay. 
Yay for floofs, that's for sure. What the? I'm just gonna go for a jaunt. A jaunt, I, I suppose I could ride my broom so I can pop those things, huh? Those goblins. Those are goblins. This is a very leisurely um, hopping of things. I won't rest until you're dead. What the? Were they talking to me? I mean, I better not be talking to me. I will whoop, whoop on you. Can they actually get me up here? I don't think I can actually, I can't attack. I don't think it really matters, right? Because they, they can't hit me. Oh, nope, he can. Shit. Okay. Ow. Don't care. Huh. Got Merlin's trial somewhere around here. I said I was gonna whoop his booty and he just smacked me. Smacked me. There is a Merlin Stroud right there. Look at that. Oh, here's a pleasant surprise. Oh, oh, no, no! I will make you pay. Somebody's having a hard time over there. Um. Yeah, that's all you gotta do with these. Break these things. Rebellion. I only see the two. I remember where the other one was. There's that guy up there. Nobody. Nobody's here. Oh, you think you're so clever. <laughs> Just trying to do my, uh, my Merlin's trial. Confringo. I mean, no, uh, no harm here. Uh, 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 die, bitch. That's right, barrel. Really? Rebellion. 
What? The deuce. Where's it at, guys? Tell me. I have some promising news about the location of our Hebridean dragon friend and where to return her, you know what. Wow. Me in the town circle in Hogsmeade. That was fast, Poppy. Sneakity sneak down here is what's doing. These Merlin trials won't get the best of me. Is there something in there? Is. Incendio. Unidentified face item. I wonder if I'm safe to explore in there. You're here. Good. Sebastian, that relic you mentioned. I believe one of Slytherin's students stumbled upon the relic during an assignment to study sarcophagi in this catacomb. From what I read in a report by the student, they weren't permitted to take it with them, so I must assume it's still here. As I mentioned earlier, this relic grants its holder the power to reverse dark magic curses. If it's in this catacomb, I have to find it. For Anne. I need to see her. Catacomb? Yeah, let's explore. I'm ready to explore the catacomb. Perhaps we can visit Anne when we finished. Perfect. By the way, Ominous has been asking about you. You didn't tell him what we were doing, did you? I didn't. I promise. Good. Ominous would be livid if he knew what we were about to do. I'll be interested to compare what lies inside to what I've read about this catacomb. Catacomb? I like the way he says it. The catacomb. I'm sure that foul smell is the scent of success. Try not to lose your nerve just yet. I'll try. Bombarda. At least now we know we're not alone in here. Perhaps that was it. And the rest of the tomb will be insect free. Lies. Yeah, spiders aren't insects. Lies. Don't start. Incendio. We all know it's not going to be insect free. Accurate. Opening all of these is tempting. Justified. Should have cast that a little uh, later there, sir. Boom. I feel like Sebastian offers more help than what Fig does.
Hmm. Hmm. Is that the way, or is this a dead end down here? There's a chest down here. Hmm. Looks like a big ass room over there, so I'm gonna go this way real quick. Watch your step. I need to slip there. Okay. Lots of spiders. That's cool. Shit. Check the inventory real quick. Uh, a lot of crap here. It, guys, not worth it. Rebellion. A lot of stuff down here. Now, this is the source of great room I want to be buried in. Surrounded by grandeur, grandeur, and then some. Even an altar with a pile of bones. Lovely. Bones outside a sarcophagus. Seems odd. Yeah, we're gonna get attacked. Bunch of dead skeletons and stuff in there. Come on up. There's something here by the altar. Uh, blah, 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 and I was looking, I had to under two barricades, isolate the relic, and says, forgive me, but I use their very bones as the key. Plan to return it, but the first day, I must ready myself for our next assignment, learning the Imperious Curse the spell is said to serve well against enemies. Okay. What did you find? Looks like part of a student's diary. It mentions plans to return for the relic and conjuring barricades using bones. Of course. The student's summary referenced a space beyond the great room, which means this can't be a dead end. I have the report if you want to have a look. Let's divide and conquer. You work on sorting out the bone barricades. I'll look around and see what we missed. Hold on to that diary entry. There may be more to it. It does mention something else. It says their next assignment was learning the Imperius curse. Really? Interesting. We need to focus on moving beyond this room. But let me think for a moment. I didn't like the way he said that. I'd be interested to know what else the student discovered. Have a look. Unfortunately, there's no name on it. But 
I surmise if it was important enough for Slytherin to stash in his spellbook, it's worthy of further study. Of course. I'll start to search for those barricades. Brilliant. The catacomb assignment yielded more than I imagined. Learning about our ancestors was illuminating. However, I stumbled upon something else I could not ignore. In an area behind the great room which had suffered decay, amid the turned over sarcophagi, I discovered an oddly shaped relic. Immediately, I sensed its power. I would be thrilled to study the relic further, if only the removal of the objects were allowed. There's more to this than even I imagined. Look, bones stacked oddly on either side of this archway. Hmm. Leave no stone unturned. Or in this case, no bone. Ha ha. If this archway's been barricaded, we can find a way through. Hmm. More, more bones in here, maybe. We're in a tomb. I assume eerie sounds come with the territory. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna grab these guys. Um, here? Or here? Oh, there we go. Creepy. I felt it in my bones. Ha! Nice. Ha! Sebastian working on the dad jokes already. Before we trudge on further, I've just realized something. The student's diary mentions the Imperious Curse. I wouldn't be surprised if we're going to need it here. It's an unforgivable, but useful when you're outnumbered. Places the victim completely under the caster's control. So, if you'd like to learn Imperio, I can teach you. Why, I would? It's probably wise to know the spell. I couldn't agree more. A spell that could save your life shouldn't be unforgivable. You have a lot at stake. You have an ability that evidently no one's seen for centuries. Focus your wand movement. It's not an easy spell to master. Mm hmm. Here we go. Something troubling ahead. Be on your guard. Well, let's see. Okay, that's kind of cool. Let's throw him up there. Try it out. Okay. 
Kind of cool, I guess. Spiders over there. Wrong one. Okay, and place the rocks down. Another barricade. Considering how well you did on the last one, this should be a cinch. How gracious of you. This I one, try. This go anywhere? It's like a big battle. Go this way first. This looks different than what we faced before. Now we're also dealing with wound symbols. Wrong one. That worked. Keep going. Did it though? Shit. Hmm. Okay. Second. So those two, which is that guy and that guy. Here, here. Yep. And then this door. It's that one. Shoulders above these bones. Nicely done. All right. That's enough of the dad jokes. I see why Slytherin's student was so entranced with this place. Huh. I guess we keep going this way. But why go this way though? Or should we investigate the other way first? Sorry, let's go this way first. I did have to use the bones to get that way, so that was like clearly the path, right? This probably doesn't have anything in it, but worth checking out. Curcio is the shit, by the way. Identified faces. Move, sir.
Uh-oh, some Wigan welds. Nice. Can go fight whatever boss thing we're fighting. Probably ginormous spiders. Fuck you. Boom. Sit down, bitch. No worries, we some, uh, we some bad mofos. Wrong one. Hold on, don't give up yet. Relic contains abundant potential. Its possibilities will benefit not only wizard kind, but the world. But the dark sacrifice involved to realize its intent may be too great. Till we know more, please do not remove this relic. Ugh. That's the relic? Sebastian! The relic. Look. Yeah, right there. Check it out, eh? The note and rendition of the relic. It matches. This must be where the student left the relic. I can't believe it. After all this, it lines up. We've really found it. What do you suppose is meant by the dark sacrifice required to realize the relic's potential? A soul for idea. a soul. But we're here for the relic. I'm going to have to kill Sebastian to get the relic and save his sister. So it's going to happen. Uh, okay, sure. I'm willing to ignore what the journal entry says. We're taking the relic. Agreed. This is meant to be. For Anne's sake, I'm taking it. Let's get to Feldcroft. I mean, why wouldn't you take it? This relic right? Secret, especially for my uh, uncle. We came all this way on this mission. What am I going to do? Just tell him no and fight him? Oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh, it's ominous. That's ominous, right? Fuck. How did he know? How did he know? Who told? Is that 
ominous. Sorry. Oh, he's gonna fight us. The sounds we kept hearing. It was you. You gave me no choice. I had to follow you. Sebastian, please leave the relic alone. We can find another way to help Anne. I'm sorry, Ominous, but I'm taking it. Uh. If you won't put it back, then I will. Hold on, both of you. Sebastian, please take a step back. Fine, but Ominous knows I won't step back from the fight. Uh. No, don't fight you two. Kiss and make up. Your best friends. How much did you hear? Everything. I heard you encourage Sebastian to take the relic. Sebastian's done his research. He knows what he's doing. Sebastian makes things sound easy when they could be impossible or dangerous. We need to stop him. And if nothing will change his mind? Something has to. I need your help. Uh, I'm gonna have to choose. So this is the point where you're like, oh, is Ominous right? But he's an ass. You know? But maybe he's an ass for good reason. And maybe Sebastian's being, like, short-sighted. And not thinking clearly and just trying to do whatever he can. Maybe if we take this relic out, it's it's not gonna be any any more dangerous than, than uh, what's-his-face, Ron Rock and his people so whatever sebastian's right we need that relic i'm sorry my mind is made up are you willing to sacrifice your friendship over this i might be how could i choose to stand by and watch him do this what if the choice wasn't yours you wouldn't be to blame for what happens what in the world are you suggesting imperial Hmm. Hmm. Ooh, do I use it on him? And they can both hate me? Doesn't matter, I'm not gonna be staying in this school for long anyways, right? That's a little too much though, right? I don't want to use it on him. Never mind. Now that you say it out loud, it sounds absurd. But I have another idea. We allow Sebastian to leave with the relic under one condition. After this, no more. I feel that's what we agreed to in the scriptorium. I'm being taken for a fool. You're not, Ominous. This may be the only way to keep your friendship intact. Let's trust him to know what's best. Fine. If I trust him on this, I'm trusting you too. The dark arts seem harmless until it's too late. <sighs> Go then. Leave with the relic. I'll not say a word more. I hope I don't regret this. Oh, you're gonna regret Sebastian. it. Sebastian, we're ready. What is it? I haven't changed my mind. Ominous has. Let's go. What? Ominous? I'll explain on the way. Come on. Ominous and I found a compromise. Ominous simply needs a moment with you to change his mind. Is that it? I told him we ought to give you this chance. No, I have a there way of with words, you know. More. There has to be more to it than that. How do you? We agreed on what was needed, Sebastian. You have my word. How do you get in there? I never wanted to keep all this from Ominous. He just right? doesn't understand. How do I open that I up? I want to worry him all over again. Eh. Was that a location I've already been and then it just looks out here? Don't be sad, Sebastian, that Ominous, you know, likes me better than you. No? How do I get in there? Oh well, whatever, let's go. Probably not worth it anyways.
Dun dun dum. See, this relic is gonna have him choose to save his sister at the cost of sacrificing himself. It's been a lot to take in. I thought he understood. He knew we couldn't give up. All of this is too important for Anne. Come on, Sebastian, pick up at the pace. Why is everything on fire? Tree. It's not good, dude. Just look up. Look at all the fire. Yeah, no shit. Fuck you, get off me. He's becoming evil. Damn. Boy, what have you done? Saved my sister. An unforgivable curse. From that damned book, no doubt. Your father would be ashamed. You've gone too far, Sebastian. Stay away from her. From all of us. What the hell is she doing out there anyways? When is she in the house? She's sick. Why is she out there? What did my uncle expect me to do? The Imperious Curse saved Anne's life. That goblin was going to kill her. No, no, you totally did the right thing. What you had to do. If I have to keep proving that to my uncle, I will. He cannot banish me from my own home. From my sister. It might be best to let him calm down a while. May I speak to him? Perhaps I can help to ease the tension a bit. You may be right. Very well. Probably best if I get away from here for a while. I'll head back to Hogwarts. Mm. Yes, of course. Allow me to smooth everything over. That's what I do. I'm just smooth. Oh, here, I'll talk to him right now. He hasn't gone too far. Pardon me, Mr. Sallow. What Sebastian did was inexcusable. You cannot possibly be about to defend him. Um. 
Yeah. Sebastian and I have encountered Ranrock's loyalists before. That goblin would have killed Anne. This family does not resort to using dark magic even against our enemies. What Sebastian did cannot be undone. That you are defending Sebastian's behavior at all tells me everything I need to know. You are as guilty as he is. Sebastian is to come nowhere near Feldcroft, nowhere near Anne. Unforgivable curses are so named for a reason. If I hear that either of you continues down this path, if either of you uses dark magic, I will notify the headmaster immediately. Why, Sebastian? Hmm. Hmm. Uh, perhaps I should have lied in that uh, conversation. Okay. Poppy. Oh, am I still tracking that? To oh, talk to him again? Fair enough. Did you speak with my uncle? I did. I wish I had messed things up about your uncle and Anne. Well, what did he say? I'm afraid he wants you nowhere near Feldcroft, nor Anne. I had to stop that goblin from killing my sister. He had no right to banish me from my home twin. <sighs> if he thinks banishing me means I'm going to give up on Anne, he's sorely mistaken. He also said he cannot excuse the use of dark magic in any form, and that if he hears of either of us using it, he'll go straight to Professor Black. Huh? That relic, dark magic or not, is the key to saving Anne. To reverse that curse. I will not lose Anne for good. I should send the crest to Anne. She'll know that we need to meet. I'm afraid I don't follow. Nothing, just a thought. Now I'm more determined than ever to learn what power that relic has. Hmm. Yeah, what, what did crest? You mean you'd send Anne a crest so that she'd know to meet you. It's. We just lost our parents, and we were packing up to go and live with Solomon. We couldn't take everything. She was carefully organizing her prized possessions a box of artifacts she'd collected to do with our family jewelry, cards, old photographs. She got to her favorite, a handmade crest, and without a second thought, she handed it to me. This will keep you safe, she said. It holds no enchantment, but I've kept it with me since. That's how I can reach Anne. I'll get the crest to her with plans to meet. Be careful, Sebastian. Your uncle could intercept it. We'll be expelled. Even if Ominous is upset with us, he has no love lost for his family. He'd use their connections to the Headmaster if we needed his help. I shall wait to hear from you then. Thank you. I very much appreciate you standing by me through all of this. I'll send you yeah, you're the homeboy, you know? I'm gonna, I'm gonna have you back. And as far as I can tell, you're not crazy, you know, just yet. <laughs> oh, go talk to Deke real quick. Since I'm here... Deke has an idea to share with you. Okay. Talk to me. Hello, Deke. You wanted to talk to me. Indeed. Uh, Deke thought you might want to learn how to build a breeding pen so that you can breed beasts. Okay. That sounds like a very good idea. Rescuing and breeding beasts go hand in hand. Young beasts are particularly vulnerable to poachers. Breeding beasts here in the room will allow us to keep the younger ones safe. I see. 
What do I need to do? First, bring a pair of beasts to the room. One male, one female. Deeg suggests rescuing Thestrals, as they're at great risk from poachers. Normal creatures, but their relationship with death gives them a bad reputation. They're prized by poachers for their tail hairs. I've seen Thestrals before, but where would I find a pair of them nearby? Deke has seen some wild Thestrals not too far from the Hogwarts grounds. Then you'll need to purchase a spellcraft for the pen from Tomes and Scrolls and gather the materials it requires. Once you've rescued the Thestrals and you have the spellcraft, you come and find Deke. Nice. All right, guys. I think that's where we're going to end it. Um, plenty more to do, obviously. But we'll pick it up in the next one. Um, wherever you guys are in the world, have a good day. Have a good night. Thanks for watching. Please uh, drop a like, comment, uh, subscribe if you're not subscribed. Definitely helps out. Um, let me know what you guys are thinking. Uh, if you're st if you're still playing the game, uh, where are you at? Um, what have you been doing? Um, I'd like to hear from you. So, yeah. We'll catch you in the next video. Again, uh, wherever you are, have a good day, have a good night, and uh, we'll catch you in the next one, guys. Peace.